Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiny Blue Games. My name, of course, is Seesaw or Chris, and today we are doing a quick video on the newest feature that come to Fortnite, and that is replays, which is super exciting. I just couldn't wait to show you guys how to do this and how to get right into this. So as you saw on the screen, just go to your career panel, click on the game you want to play, and hit play at the bottom there, and you'll be brought into your actual footage of that game. And to set this up, you don't actually have to click anything. It seems to automatically capture it. I haven't gone through all the settings, so there might be a way to disable this if it seems to be lagging you or something like that, but I actually didn't even notice it while I was playing. It was almost like less laggy than usual, which is super weird. Uh, but what we see here is you're actually brought to the very beginning of the game. That's right, even before you get on the battle bus and you get to see yourself on the battle bus, you get to move the camera around. Now, while you're on the battle bus, you're restricted to third person camera, which means you can kind of just sort of see over top of your shoulder, uh, kind of how you would regularly see in the battle bus. But what you can do is speed things up and that allows you to get to the ground a little bit faster. You can go up to four times speed. Uh, when you do that, it actually does start to lag a little bit, so I bring it back down. Uh, but now you can see me flying, and I've actually just detached the camera as a drone to watch myself fly. This is like the coolest thing I could ever imagine coming to Fortnite. It allows for so much creativity. I mean, specifically as a content creator, there's nothing you want more than like a toolbox of like things you can play with. Look at me just, you can pause it at any second just by hitting the space bar. Uh, the one thing you should note if you are using the drone camera is that it's not automatically going to like account for walls. You actually just fly through walls, so you have to really work with it to get the uh, best kind of footage. Uh, and in that respect, I think when you're indoors, it's kind of better to work with third person. Or if you prefer, you can actually go to game view and it allows you to sort of see how you would be seeing it if you were playing the game. So I think it's really cool that way. You do have uh, a several options for the drone. You have a drone follow, you have a drone free, which is really cool too. You can actually move around um, as a free entity and go like pretty far from your character. I haven't tested it to see if you could go like across the entire map, but like look at me just sort of watching my own character play as if I'm another player. I think this is not only going to be great for content creators who want to get that perfect shot. Like, look at this. Look at what you can do here. Uh, but also really great for people who want to improve at Fortnite. Uh, because a lot of people for a long time have been asking for, hey, can we get kill cams? Because I don't know how I died. Um, I don't know where this guy came from or how he saw me. This is the answer. This not only answers that question and lets those people who are genuinely curious to go and see how they died, but it allows them to see, you know, maybe where they should have positioned themselves or where, you know, their enemies were open or how they could have attacked. It gives you so much option, like so many different options. It's crazy. The other part of this that I think is pretty obvious is that you can actually see this making a big appearance in terms of a competitive scene for anyone who wants to you know show tournaments of fortnite and this is in the future obviously I, I have no idea what fortnite plans to do but i could definitely tell you that this is probably a step in that direction so what we're seeing here is we're getting attacked from the hill we can pause it we can go see how did this guy see me how is he shooting at me look at him like charge at me look at his beautiful costume it's it's really cool to go back and see how this happened so because when I was in my actual character, I just panicked and threw a bomb right away, or a bomb, I threw a fort right away. And I went and hide, hid and sort of potted up and everything. This guy obviously went over here and hid and waited for me. Now, I was really confused in my fort because I couldn't see where this guy was because he's behind this wall. So I was like looking around everywhere for him. And as you just saw on the screen, he actually ended up killing himself which I did not know about, so I was just like an idiot waiting in my fort from the show up, but did not see him until I eventually saw the glow of like a gun in there, and I was like, wait, why is there a gun there? And I put it together and found his like, you know, parts of his body and his like, I mean, not his parts of his body, but like his guns and stuff like that. So 
I, I think this is a really cool way of seeing what exactly happened in the game. But let's get into what obviously a lot of people are going to do with this, and that's the idea of taking screenshots, taking videos. That's the big thing. So in terms of control, um, you move your camera with, you know, WASD keys. Um, you can move it up or down using the E and the Q button. Um, and it allows you to really get the perfect angle. Um, you're also able to pause using space, and I find this particularly useful to get the perfect uh, shot. So what I'll do is I'll go and bring the time down, so the uh, frame rate, so that it's really, really slow. Um, and then you can very slowly walk yourself through the shots to find the exact moment you want for a screenshot in particular. Uh, I think this would also be pretty cool for, you know, very slow motion videos. Um, you could do one of you sniping someone, um, of just really cool stuff. Like, and there's, there's things that you didn't even notice in the game. For instance, before I played around with this, I did not know that there was, um, you know, high detailed uh, bullet shells that drop from the gun or exactly how each building structure comes together when you put it together. I, I think it's very interesting to watch these animations play in so slow motion um, and to some degree just how quality the uh, animations actually are. For instance, we just watched that person do the jump and build at the same time, which you know, is pretty mundane really in terms of gameplay, but when you watch it in slow motion, it's something special just to watch them build their fort. Now, what we're seeing here is a 1v1 fight uh, with fort building, with shooting. This is the exact perfect scenario I see for this kind of footage where you can go around and get perspectives from either fort, you can see how the fight's going, you can really give a good commentary while you're watching the fight. Now, I think this would be absolutely phenomenal in like, you know, 50 versus 50 or 20 versus 20, where we have these huge fights and we can go zoom in on each individual sort of actions during the fight. And I, I'm really excited to see the kind of videos that come from that next event, which is actually happening pretty soon. And I don't think that's at all unplanned. So in terms of other controls, you do have some things you can play with. So you can hide the uh, the HUD if you want. Uh, I think that's very good to do for screenshots and actually recording videos. Um, and then you can also play with the camera settings. Now, this is pretty cool and I'm no expert when it comes to playing with all these different settings. So you can go and, uh, you know, change some things yourself. But some very quick ones that I did play with um, were things such as, you know, the focus distance. So you can sort of blur things out in the background if you wanted or blur things more in the foreground, uh, depending on what you want to see. If you're not comfortable playing with that, you can always switch it back to auto or you can even hit reset. Um, and that will put all the settings that you've you know, messed up back to normal. Um, you have the focal length, which gives you different um, distances that you're viewing, uh, but it also allows you, if you go to the very widest angle, you get sort of like a very um, wide lens and it allows you to see things that you would not otherwise see. And that's actually what I'll end up using at the very end here to do kind of the, uh, the thumbnail screenshot where you can see um, I have more of a, a larger field of view than I would normally have. So you can see here, I, I'm kind of playing with it and zooming in a little bit. Um, and if you play with the two of them, you're able to uh, get as close to the person as you want, but also able to blur things differently. So you can see here, we, we've shifted things a little bit. Uh, we've the aperture, which um, also plays with the uh, blurring as well. Um, and for someone who does use cameras, I do apologize. This is purely from someone who's interested in using it to take a screenshot. So if you're interested in the nitty gritties of all these terminologies, this would not be the video for you. And you know, to be honest, I want to learn more about it and be able to put out a better video myself, but I was just, I'm too excited to not go ahead and jump into this video. Um, I can't believe how well the system works. I think it's it's very impressive on Fortnite's um, sort of side of it to be able to launch this so seam seamlessly. So this is the video, uh, the screenshot I was able to make at the end. You can see that there is a bullet shell coming out here, and it has a really wide angle where you're able to see sort of behind me as well as in front of me. And I, I thought that was such a cool thing you were able to do. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Play around with it, let me know how you love it, and I'll talk about it more in the next video. Thanks for watching.